both these two have been playing some great poker. Stuart, who plays a lot in the Midlands and in Luton, had a lot of good results. And Tino, who uh, doesn't normally get out, out of Australia, shows he travels very, very well. And they're well worth their shot here, the two of them. They both got past a lot of very strong players to be in this position with a shot at the semi-final. Four in total. Four in total. It's another 2,400. Good aggressive button raise with a playable hand by Stuart. Tino is out of position, but he does have some sort of a hand. Looks like he's contemplating having a look. And did he but know it, he's very much in control with the better kicker with his 10. That's a call. So Tino calls. So flop. Queen nine deuce. Pair of nines landed by Checks. Stuart. Checks. Stuart, very surprising check by Stuart on the flop there. Don't know how much he wanted to hit, but he now has the four flush as well as the pair of nines. There'll be no more free cards now, I'm sure. Pair checks. Tino with a gut shot. 3,000. Tino's entitled to not to know that Stuart has so much of the flop as this. He might think that a king or a ten or the jack for the straight would be good for him. Very, very tempting to have a look. But he's really relinquished all the initiative in this pot. And Stuart with a huge, huge Last flop code. here. There's a six. I don't think it's going to go much further Checks. here. This is going to turn it over. That's a check. Show and take, gents. Stuart delighted to take that away with a pair of nines. nines. With a ten kick. And it could have been a lot worse, Bettina. It's a good hand. Stuart in a very, very healthy lead. He's heavy odds on to be in the semi-finals from here. Still got to close the game out, though. Tino has been doing a lot of calling, which isn't always the best way to play before the flop. Of course. But uh, Stuart now decides to just limp in on the button with the 5-4, and Tino won't be letting him get away with that. A little bit of acting. Massive hand for Tino, bearing in mind the situation of the game. He's got it just at the right time. It's been a very interesting heads-up battle, both of them very different styles, both very, very Raises good players. Tino desperate to keep Stuart in here. It's cool. And Stuart feels he can afford to have a look. He's got position, Doing playable flop. hand. Deuce. Oh Three. my God. Deuce. This Deuce. could be fireworks. Tino with the over pair, Stuart with the up and down straight. Well, surely Barney can't land two, three, four, five, six again. The second time in oh. ten Deuce. hands or so. Hold on, guys, because he's busy there. Yes. All in, table one. Well, the aces take away two of the straight outs as well. Tino, a very, very big favourite to double up here, and he's played the hand beautifully. Oh, yeah, I've got him dead to sixes, yeah? All in on table number one. Tino is all in with a pair of aces. Play against Stewart. There'll be five. little between the pair of them if Stewart Tino wins this. Straight. And, of course, and there'll Tino be the... two pairs, aces and deuces. Entire width of the field between them up. if Stewart wins this. Yes, and Stewart did nothing wrong. He flopped a big flop with the 4-5. He wasn't to know Tino was as strong as he was. With one card to come, Tino's almost got this pot wrapped up. Oh, unbelievable! That is very, very cruel. He's played a great game all the way through, dominated for most of the game. But this man's played beautifully as well. And probably on balance, it's a fair result. But very, very cruel for Tino, who's come a long way to come second. Six of the best for Stuart Fox, and he's in the semis. Commiserations and congratulations, guys. Thank you.
Tino, first of all, you. It was a, a brave defensive action you were fighting there. And that's the way to get your aces cracked. Well, he had some outs, but uh, fortunately my aces took away four of them on his straight. So, uh, yeah, he had to hit six on the river, but yeah, that's the way it goes. He didn't put his money in with uh, no outs, so yeah. sometimes that's the way that goes. So, no worries. Played well. Congratulations. It's been a big year for you, though. Did you enjoy tonight? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I've been to the World Series and, uh, yeah, it's just on my way home, so <laughs> okay. it was a pleasure. All right. Well, have a good trip back and we look forward to seeing you again soon. We'll be seeing you again soon, Stuart, meanwhile, in these semi-finals. Yeah. Outstanding stuff tonight. A couple of times you, you took other players out on the river. Yeah. And that's really, I guess, the way to, to beat yeah. the, uh, the big players. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I won two 50-50s. I won uh, when I was a big dog, uh, my ace eight against an ace ten. I got lucky then. And of course, with four eights then, I got, all, I got lucky then. Well, very well done to both of you guys. As you can probably hear, there's all sorts of other actions still going on. So let's get a quick roundup now on how things finished on the other tables. On table three, Morton Hindens was outdrawn on the river by his fellow countryman, Rolf Inger Van Vick. I'm happy with the uh, third place. It's my first live tournament, so very happy. And Lady Luck was once more on Rolf's side when he paired up his nine again on the river, this time to knock out Daryl Dickin and win the table. Oh, it was excellent, it was excellent. But uh, at that time he was really short stacked, so even if I, I missed, I would have got a lot of more chances. Steve Ladar had just taken out Smurfit before Rob Cooper won table four with a pair of aces. When I came in last year, I got knocked out, but. I said to myself, definitely going to get through this time, so I'm very pleased about that. And the Viking invasion continued when Rolf's close friend Thomas Gunderson beat Alsback to take his seat in the semi. I'm just amazed. I've just been playing poker for eight months, so while I'm here, so I'm overwhelmed. I think it's the best experience of my life, and I can't wait until Thursday to play more. So we've got our first four semi-finalists. Join us next time when we discover who will be joining them in the money. For now, though, from all of us here, it's goodbye.